how do you think um, working with musicians closely and in the musical arts has affected your teaching style? Well, it's a combination of radio production and musician stuff is that um, as a radio journalist interviewing bands and as a musician in bands, there's an incredible amount of waiting around. Uh, it really is something that is quite ast astonishing how much time you can wait to do something where suddenly everything's on you and you've got to pull it out of the bag and then you go back to waiting again. It's a real... I don't know how you train somebody to do that. It's another one of those things that you just have to do. But if you work with other people that you click with, which is one of those mysterious things of life, and you can wait around in a way that's enjoyable and just click into it at that moment and then go back to hanging out, that's really something quite magical, which I have no idea how to teach it. But that kind of underlies all t all this stuff, I mean, all this kit and everybody. It takes so ages to set it up and everybody's waiting around and then suddenly you've just got to do it. And, yeah, so it's that sort of mixture of a synergy of working with other people and waiting, but being super on it. And the other one is waiting till afterwards to celebrate whatever it is you're doing. The media industry and musicians in, in particular have a tendency to want to celebrate what they're doing before they've done it. That can be a slippery slope to all kinds of things, which is not my recommendation. Wait till afterwards to celebrate. <laughs> um, okay, so in your class we do a lot of video, well, video production is the module, um, and we all have to be assigned roles. Um, how do you go about assigning people production roles? So the first year is a kind of COD psychology experiment of using Belbin's roles. So I get people to stand in different corners of the room depending on what they see themselves as, initiator, completer, finisher, different roles. And then the groups have to form from the principle of if you get those different character types in a group, it'll work. So it's a bit of a, a random experiment. But it's about just beginning to look at what I'm a great at and what am I not so good at and what have I got to bring to a group. In the second year, I let people choose because I'm more interested in getting into research content than working with group dynamics, but it is a continuation of the same thing. By the time you're in Rosie or Spencer and Lauren's shoes, you pretty much should have a sense of what a director, producer, interviewer, researcher, camera, editor do. And in Rose's case, she is now all of those things. So that's kind of the idea, is that you get to a point where you can either do them all or sort of divvy them up in a sort of... Do, they, do you divvy them up? Do you think you've got clear roles now? Producer, yeah. director? Yeah. I'd say. I mean, they're very different. Producer, director in particularly is a bit of a mystery what's the difference thing and I don't know, could I just ask you two as a last thing before we fold like what have you learnt about that relationship because you're working as a pair, kind of working it out, producer, director thing um, I would say I was the producer and Spencer was the director mm. um, I'm not sure You're way more organised than me and like, I don't know, you structure everything a bit better than I do um, so you come up with the creative ideas I'm more and like Lauren kind of backs it into director, place. Call it that, and Lauren's the one who actually implements it and gets to happen. Mm. And we'll talk. She, she, <laughs> no, mm. but really, like she, we we complement each other. Mm. Um, I think if you find someone that you you can work well with or complement your skills, especially for a third year project, I'd say go with that because it does lift the work a little bit and it makes it more fun. Mm. You're not just constantly doing everything on your own. Um, but if you don't work well with, with someone, or don't work well um, with people in a group, don't do it on your own. But, yeah. Okay, I think we're done then. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for being involved. Yeah. Bless you all. Over and out. <laughs>